Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to my Gears of War 4 Insane Difficulty walkthrough. This is Act 2, Chapter 4, The Great Escape. This is a vehicle section. I do not like vehicle sections. However, this vehicle section is more fair than it had to be. This is not that difficult once you know what you're doing and once you have a little bit of practice. For this first part, it's getting you kind of used to the way the bike controls, and it controls it very nuancedly. At least for me, I play on a television with my Xbox, and so there was a little bit of input delay. I'm not sure if that's the game having an input delay, or the actual television having an input delay, but there is some, some nuance to w the way this bike moves. But this section is pretty simple, and it's pretty genuine, gen uh, what, oh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, generous, there you go, gen gen generous with the checkpoints that it does give you. Uh, for this section, it's gonna be dropping some bombs, and the way I like to do it is I like to uh, look at the ground as well as a little bit above the ground to try and avoid those bombs. And that is its own little section, its own little checkpoint. If you fail, you'll be back within that time uh, within a couple seconds. Now, this section is a little tricky. I always got stuck at this tree right here. You have to shoot the gap. And I realized that you can run into the DBs and not take any damage. So don't be afraid of them and kind of actually aim for them. That's like my tip for you guys. Aim for the DBs and you should be fine at that section. Don't You don't need to shoot them at all. Now this section, apart from being stunningly beautiful, is really kind of nice. You just kind of shoot the gaps. There's fire going on. But there's really not a, a tough section about this. There's no really danger of you hitting anything, at least from the couple times that I have played it on the Insane difficulty. It's pretty forgiving right here. Now this section is where the game tries to pull a fast one on you. Look at this crap right here. Uh, both JD and Dell are going to tell you to shoot the Kestrel. Take it down and there's going to be a prompt to fire your weapon. Hold LT to fire your weapon and shoot down that Kestrel. So what the game is asking you to do is it's asking you to aim, shoot, get active reloads, dodge incoming fire and survive and take down this helicopter all at the same time. You don't need to do any of that. You don't need to do any of that. All you need to do is avoid the incoming fire, and that's it. You need to avoid. That's all you need to do. Look at that. Didn't shoot it. Didn't shoot it once. Destroyed the Kestrel. We've made it into the tunnel. There you go. That's... That's the trickery of, of this mission. They try to trick you. They try to make you die because you're too distracted. Uh, however, this area right here is probably why you're watching this video. And there is a subtle nuance to the way I like to play this. So first of all, taking out the engines is pretty simple. Obviously, you just kind of shoot, but I like to kind of pepper the trigger. Unless it's up close like that, then I like to kind of shoot it as much as I can. Active reloads are going to be your best friend, but you are kind of distracted here. But anyway, you don't need to shoot while dodging here. Never are you asked to shoot while dodging, except for the last little area, I guess I should say. But during this first area, you can take out, you can shoot these engines here. Once you see these guys start dropping bombs, don't even worry about shooting. Just, to, just kind of dodge and look at the horizon. Look at where these guys are going. There you go. You've made it past that section. Voila, the engines are now taken care of. So what I'm going to try to do here is I know these guns are going to fire back at me. So I'm going to try to get an active reload in and always aim for the middle section. That's what I have found in my couple playthroughs that are most beneficial. These guys have very little health. You should be able to take them down even when you're kind of blind firing like I am here. Not very accurate. Uh, taking out all three of those guys really simply. So like I said, it's going to kind of speed up a little bit. I like to try to get an active reload. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to aim for that middle gun. And I believe they're going to glow red if they're actually going to start shooting. So you'll see there, uh, that guy starts shooting, kind of dodge the opposite way. And then that is the last gun right there. Now, I believe, I'm not 100% positive. I need to test this out. But I think you see those glowing things right there? The glowing, the four glowing things on each of the vulture's wings? I think you can shoot that to instantly kill 
all of the turrets. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I've seen someone do that on a lower difficulty. But anyway, this is the only area where it asks you to dodge and shoot. And this is not all that bad. You need to, you're gonna die. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're not used to it, you're gonna die. And if you're not gonna die there, you're gonna die here. Cause this is completely awkward. Like the way uh, it visually shows you the plane kind of uh, picking up the ground and the way it injures you is really difficult and I believe you can actually shoot out the explosive barrels uh, when they're starting to bounce out of the vulture here and so my best strategy is just to kind of look for the gap kind of go with the wing look for the gap you can see I almost die here because I, I don't quite see the gap but this is the last time this is the last little event right here take it out uh, shoot that engine core don't be get your get your active reloads done. Good luck to you guys. Hopefully this guide has helped you out a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Gears of War morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.